We're back at Leading Edge. I'm Jerry Anderson. You know him, Dr. Eric Skojinski, Commissioner of Toledo Lucas County Health Department, out this week with a stay at home advisory. I think I called it order earlier. Advisory, folks, it, you know, it's designed to help us all get through this. The numbers have just spiked in recent days uh, to levels that we hoped we would never see. And along that line, uh, Dr. Skojinski, more and more schools are rolling back their in-person education. Some of them from full-time face-to-face to a hybrid model. Some from a hybrid model to fully remote online teaching. And then I read where schools are not really where this stuff is being transmitted. So what should schools be doing, Eric? So, you know, what, what, we're, what we're seeing is that the, the actual transmission from student to student or student to staff or staff yeah. to student, you know, it, it's, it, it's happening, but not to a, to a great degree. Uh, what we're seeing are, you know, um, extracurricular activities, uh, you know, individuals getting this, you know, the students getting it from home, bringing it into school. So, you know, what, what we're looking at is um, the, the, the ability for this then to limit education because students can't be in school because they're isolated quarantine. Uh, we're having a huge issue with staffing problems because they're they're sick and they need to be out. Uh, so it, it is it is an issue that we're seeing now as we grow in the community spread. Uh, there there is the more of a, a likelihood of disease to be in the community into the school system, excuse me, and have that ability then to spread from student to student. The thing about our schools, you need to understand, is that they've had some really intricate plans on protecting the students, and so that. That is really important to understand for the community for the community to understand is that they're doing what they need to do to protect their kids. Uh, the new cases, and you know, we mm -hmm. talked about the uptick, big uptick in cases. They are more than just the result of increased testing. Yes or no? Uh, no, it, it truly is just. Uh, it is nowhere near the the issue of increased testing. We definitely have disease in the community. Uh, to the extent of um, we're getting close to about 300 a day uh, of new infections that we have to go and um, isolate and then contact trace. Uh, right now, our um, per uh, per hundred thousand um, incident rate is about 590 plus. Ooh. That's huge. Yeah. So um, you know we want to be around 100. Uh, we actually want to be zero. But yeah, we to 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 really get us to a point where we can you know really adequately respond with resources we have is about 100 per 100,000. We're at, and we're, and we're at 590? We're at 590 plus. We're not as bad as some other communities in Ohio where they're eight, nine, 1,000, 1,200, but it is significant for us. Wow. Yeah. Stories persist about the difficulty in getting tested. There was one in our local paper, just a lady who felt like she was symptomatic, and then she recounted for our local health board down here her experience going to this place. Can't help you today. You've got all these people to wait on. You can go over there. I'm sorry, we'll see you on Friday, and that kind of thing. She ended up not getting it. Okay, so we have more test sites, but more people wanting tests too. So this is a demand problem, not a supply problem, or some of both? Well, right now, what we're seeing is, you know, we, we track this. Uh, right. We track uh, so if, if you want to get tested, uh, by the time, if you would, that the test is started uh, to the time where you get results back and we can start contact tracing, it's, let's say it's about three days, a little bit over three days. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's starting to approach four. Okay. So there is, there is a little bit of testing lag now, but it's nothing like it was five, seven, eight, 10 days, 13 days. It was a couple months ago. Wow. Our concern right now is actually getting in to get tested. Um, the, if you would, the, the bottleneck is we, we really need to have more ability to get people to get tested. Um, so those reservations, you know, getting registered to, to get a test, there's not enough of spots right now. That's the concern. Um, hey, it's Thanksgiving. Let's try to find something positive here. And, and, we, and there is something, I think. We can't help but get excited about the recent news regarding vaccines. Guys, Lucas County have a plan, a plan coordinated with the state for getting people vaccinated. And I'll go ahead, the second part of the question is, when do you expect that to happen? So we've been working on the plan for rolling out of mass vaccinations for COVID-19 for a couple of months now. Uh, so we've been working with the state, uh, we're working with local entities, we're looking at getting the points of dispensing sites up and running. Uh, you might've heard Mercy, uh, Mercy Health 
actually is um, intricately entwined in you know storage and dispensing of, of the COVID-19 when mm -hmm. we get it. Right. So yeah, we do have a plan. Um, I would I would expect us to start looking to have vaccine in our community probably December. Um, the rollout, we don't know quite what it's going to look like. That's the issue. Who's going to get it first? How much of it's going to come in? So those those issues are still in the air, but it is coming. And I must I must say that um, the the initial uh, the initial um, effectiveness for these vaccines is is pretty good. So uh, we should well, be yeah. excited about that. You said December. Yeah, that's the next month. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Uh, in the meantime, have a great Thanksgiving, Doc. It's Thank it's you. good Thank to you. see you good as always, you. folks. Let's let's do this together. Uh, we've come this far. Uh, the numbers are really high right now. Let's be smart. Let's keep our distance. Let's do family only. FaceTime with your friends and family on Thanksgiving. There's going to be a brighter day ahead. Dr. Eris Kojinski, thanks for being with us. Uh, when I come back on Leading Edge, we're heading down to Columbus. Uh, you're going to want to check this one out as well. This is Leading Edge. <laughs>